Hey guys, it's, uh, it's me again. I'm just chewing uh, some magnesium. So it's, uh, it's Thursday night. I gotta be quiet. Hopefully we'll do like a nice, I can uh, create some asthma vibes. Um, Lo-fi asthma, you know, like um, lo-fi asthma street creature. I just wanted to, you know, the, the code, I wanted to talk about the code. Uh, the code is patient. The code is, is, is a long-term springing forth. It is a, it is the, the, I hope, the fullest realization of the religious instincts in humans. You know, integrating that dare I say, you know, in my midwit ignorance, maybe I read the preface of some, uh, Foucault or Deleuze or Rashad, um, but, but that, that postmodern awareness and that irony and that cynicism, if we could combine the religious yearning that people have that served, I think, a great evolutionary purpose with that sort of you know, meta narrative awareness and uh, and create a religion that is so good and also true because we can make it true. We can collaborate on the living code, which is, you know, the language, the art, the the stories, the myths, the physics. If we can, we can have an understanding of the religious instinct and how it can go bad, but fundamentally understood that that same religious instinct aided and abetted technology. Now you might say Galileo was, you know, under house arrest and for, you know, saying that the it's a it's a cruel irony that of course the institutions representing the religious instinct may get in the way of, 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 of the technologies that come from a fundamentally religious society. And the, the, the belief that existence is good and holy, that we are made, let's say, for example, taking from the Catholic tradition and the image and likeness of God, that uh, we, the fundamental supposition that that life is good and that it is of value to be virtuous for individuals it does take a framework and it takes shoring up to truly believe that uh, I think those those beliefs are good and I think I firmly believe that they've aided and abetted all progress humans have made and of course gotten in the way and uh if it's if it's war, if it's a religious war that pushes technological innovation and science further, you know, instead of there's so much intractable irony there, and you have to pull it apart. But the easier thing to do is to say it's all bad, it's all power games, and it's all people working in their self interests. We have a dog here, a good ex oh fuck, he's out. We have a dog who's gonna go in the backyard and bark, but it's all part of the code's plan. <sighs> Which doesn't exist yet, but that we have to make exist. I got some water boiling because I need to eat pasta. Which is part of the code's plan. How long do you guys think it'll be before he starts barking? I'm gonna have to go fucking get him. Fuck my life. I just left the door open a crack, which represents the postmodern doubt about the fundamental goodness of existence and the possibility of collaborative progress, and the dog, in this case playing the role of Satan, pushes through the crack and into the backyard, and I'm irritated, but I have to love. So, as I was saying about, you know, the people getting together to fight a war for a religious reason, my god is better than yours, and we're going to capture your idol and parade him around, and then knock him off his pedestal. Your God will now serve our God, because our God is greater, because we won, was the, the pre-Christian 
the pre-Christ, you know, ancient Sumerian, pagan, Assyrian vibe. That was the vibe in the day. Um, but if those disgusting wars that led to so much rape, suffering, pillaging, oppression, stealing, and slavery led to the solidification of belief and of and the cooperation of people to form a, a nation and that reality generated the funding to push science forward then it's not so simple it, it's easy to push it all away and say it was colonial oppression and evil it's not easy to say that the actions of many of those individuals to our ascended ethic, as ascended as it is, was evil, but it might have served a greater good. This is a very kind of Thomistic Catholic optimism, but I think it's true. I think, I think things are getting better. I believe that. Criticism of that would be that it's a the only reason someone would believe that is because they are selfishly wielding words and faith and power to serve their own ends and to justify their own oppressions. Ah, fuck! There he is. Thank you for listening to the code. Have a good one. I'm not justifying my own oppressions. I hope. Pray for me.